Ukrainian FPV drones carrying anti-tank munitions swooped down on the Russian column as it was still two or three kilometers distant, targeting the relatively thin armor on the tank's turret roofs and engine decks. At the end of two years of conventional war, the fact that the Ukrainian army is able to shoot the Kremlin's museum pieces to bits is not exactly the worst news. Ukrainian attack drones infiltrated the hangar, crowded with valuable assets from Putin's war arsenal, and set about destroying the valuable weaponry. Battle was joined in fields near a village called Novomihailivka where the tanks were again cut to pieces by kamikaze quadcopters deftly flown into the tank's side armor. According to Humanyuk, the strike killed as many as 60 Russian servicemen of the 328th Airborne Assault Regiment, 810th Separate Guards Marine Brigade. In a February 27 engagement, across similar ground, and recorded by a defending drone operator unit called Spartan, a column of eight Russian armored vehicles, led by T-55s advanced. Ukrainian forces have successfully destroyed a modern Russian tour surface-to-air missile system. Ukrainian FPV drone operators located a concentration of Russian hardware inside a large warehouse somewhere in the south of Ukraine, preparing for an assault. The Ukrainian solder continues firing and throwing grenades at Russian troops as drones buzz overhead in a standoff. Drone footage shows smoke rising and the Russian troops crawling around the trench trying to get the Ukrainian soldier as their commander shouts. This halted the group's armored vehicles, with its infantry taking shelter in trenches and shell craters, only to be finished off by more kamikaze drones circling overhead. According to Moscow's slick state media reports, although avoiding giving any specific numbers, Russian industry is cranking out far more tanks every month, than Ukrainian soldiers in units like the 65th Brigade or the Spartan drone unit can collectively destroy. Russia's tanks whether T-55 or T-90M all appear to end their service lives in a much different, perhaps more modern, way. Tiny FPV drones crash into the tank, one after another, until the tank stops and catches on fire. Other Russian equipment blown up included a BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicle, two T-72 tanks, and military trucks and vehicles. Since it launched its invasion of Ukraine, Russia has lost huge numbers of armored vehicles. Armor destroyed includes 2,600 main battle tanks and 4,900 other armored vehicles, said the UK Defense Ministry in January. In the near future, he said, the Ukrainian battlefield will be one where rusting old Russian tanks will be overwhelmed by swarms of Ukrainian drones. Ukrainian forces deployed FPV, our first-person view, attack drones to blow up a column of Russian armored vehicles, said the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. At the end of July, a large group of Russian soldiers from five separate military units attending a training and rest camp gathered on a beach on Jerilok Island in the Black Sea. A HIMARS strike killed as many as 200 troops in a location they thought was beyond Ukraine's reach. The site of Tuesday's Ukrainian attack near Trudovsky was a training area that had been used by Kyiv's troops since the mid-2010s and, after being captured by advancing Russian troops in 2022, continued to be used for the same purpose.